Well, a city council that is historic in more ways than one. In Las Cruces, six women represent all six districts, and there's even more diversity on the dais. ABC 7's Kate Beery explains how she reports from City Hall with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. You're looking at a city council that is historic for quite a few reasons. Not only is it all female, but mostly women of color, and even with a member of the LGBTQ community on the dais. One, two, three, four, five, six women serving as city councilors in Las Cruces. There's Mayor Pro Tem Cassandra Gandara. Women look at things a bit differently. Joanna Bencomo. For so many of us, we haven't seen ourselves represented. Tessa Abeda Stuvi. I didn't have a lot of people that looked like me that I could really identify with. I Becky Graham. I was the only third grader who was campaigning for Geraldine Ferraro. <laughs> Ivan Flores and Becky Coran also a member of the LGBTQ community. A queer woman being on the city council for the first time, I think it really just brings a different perspective. And a bonus, the city's first female attorney, Jennifer Vega, who continues to serve. It's a benefit to everybody, um, but it's business as usual, as it should be. From 1907 to 2022, more than a century of male mayors. From the first, Martin Lohman, to the current, Mayor Ken Miyagashima, not a woman on this wall. City Manager Ipo Pili hopes his six female bosses inspire his children. Six daughters. And what a wonderful world they get to grow up in. And in the audience, Dolores Archuleta. When I got elected in 2001, I was the only woman. Who back in the day served with a council of almost all men, honored to witness history 20 years later. I was so excited. They had a word of advice for the little girls watching this newscast. Believe in yourself because one day you can be a leader too. Reporting at City Hall with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Kate Beery, ABC7.